of my beautiful areas I hope you'll see when we're done. I have pine sue here, they're beautiful. I hope maybe decorate them for Christmas. I know we're not supposed to talk about Christmas yet. But I'm gonna show you here how to pull the weeds easily. So you'll see that these weeds are really deep, but they're coming out pretty easy. I've already started. The reason I'm showing you that, see some of them are really deep. And you have to get down here, it's a great workout. But the reason it makes it easier is I do have cloth under here. So the cloth really does help. No matter how much you put on top, you're going to have weeds if you don't keep up with it. Um, we've tried a few weed killers, but the best thing is just pulling them by hand. So we'll keep doing that. And hopefully you're going to see amazing things here in a day or two. But I take all these, I throw them on my wagon. All right, I filled up another wagon and sometimes, I mean, Roger does help, but sometimes he's not here like he was holding this for me. And I just happened to have two shovels out here because I've been moving it to the back side and up here besides, that way I had one down here, I had one in there. So by chance I have two. So I just put this baby behind the wheel. Now I got one behind both wheels and it's not gonna move on me. So this way I can unload it. You just got to think, what do I have around me that I can use that's going to help? And he is a big help. Don't make him think he never does anything. But sometimes I have to run the camera. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you got to run the camera. my job. That's right. So. I do do manual labor, just yeah. <laughs> not on camera. In fact, he is going to help me finish this out so we can see the finished product more <laughs> And then while I'm spreading this around, he's going to fill it up again for me this time. Looks like our neighbor might be getting another horse. Woohoo! People love horses in the pictures. And this is pretty exciting. Can you see me? <laughs> and they love taking pictures of the back field with the horse in it. It's, a, it's her pet. It's her baby. She lost one. It was very sad. So this is really cool for all of us. One thing I've already done since I put this black matting down is I put my food stakes. Now I try to do this twice a year. This is miracle Grow, And I mean, no matter what we've noticed that in three years your trees really take off, but this sure is not gonna hurt it at all. And what you do, you'll notice I have a hammer. Let me show you something here. Normally you use a mallet Show you what they look like if you've never used them before. So this is your food steak. They come with little plastic covers like this that you can use on all of them. So it, it, you got your pointy end, flat end, put that on there like that. Normally, you take your drip line, so it's wherever the ends of the tree is, because you want the water to hit. You're going to put it in here like this and you're going to do a mallet like that. Our ground is so hard right now because we've had no rain that I have been taking a hammer and literally making a hole where I need it in the ground. And then I kind of put it in there. Instead of using that, I just crush it down in there like that. So when the water hits it, it's still going to go in the ground. So anyway, that's what I did all under here. You can do five, you can do three. It's up to you how much food you want to give them, but try to do it twice a year. All right, we're about to finish up. We wanted to tell you this is a dark hardwood mulch, and we have been through lots of mulch. We've went to Lowe's and bought bags and bags of red bark. Um, we've done black, uh, we've done just wood color, and it all fades. I mean, it's only good for so long. You end up having to rake it up, you know, and redoing it again. This, actually, I'll rake it, make it look pretty. I do a cover up on the black. We ran out a little bit before. And uh, make it smooth. When it rains, whenever it rains, 
it will actually pack this down and it begins to pack it down pack it down and next year we might be able to put some more on top and you can just keep putting it on top if you want but we really like We've been doing this over seven years and we have found that it's just the easiest thing to work with actually and it just really looks clean mostly when you're trying to pull weeds and stuff like that once i do this weeds are easy you'll get one every now and then that will plant itself on top of the uh, weed cloth and the mulch now what i do which is fun is next year i will actually put sunflower seeds out here and they they will grow on top of the black matting and they're just beautiful it just adds color to the side of the fence which is really cool because this is where our bridal party all park here when they come in for a wedding we park them all here so you get a little color makes it really nice and we buy uh, the mulch locally it's in Nicholasville Kentucky do you know the name of the grower or the, no, okay. but uh, that's just where we go every time if anybody ever wanted to know we can find the name and post it but they are really good and we just get trailers load and bring it out and move it Take the back of the rake too. So, you know, you're not digging in. You'll take the back like this. Just kind of smooths it out, makes it nice. Because if you go this way, it's going to catch, you know, on the cloth you put there. Right now, it moves around pretty easy.